Welcome back to Cooking with the Jacobs. Y'all, it has been a minute, and before I, I started cooking and I was going to, I forgot about the video. That's just kind of what happened. I'm going to be making some spaghetti with actual meatballs, okay? So I had already started doing my thing, but if you want to see how that's going to go, then stay tuned. Okay, so boom. So right here, as y'all can see, I already made some meatballs, some homemade meatballs. The only thing I did to these meatballs, this is one, like a pound and a half of ground meat. I mixed it with some onions, seasoned it to taste. I did put Tony's garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and a little bit of Italian seasoning on there. Um, and then I put one fourth of the entire roll of those Parnell um breakfast sausages okay so you're going to need at least a pound of meat a pound of regular ground meat for just the regular ground meat one tube of the parnell's breakfast sausage i use the hot but whatever one you want and then you're going to need another pound or a pound and a half for your actual meatballs so about two and a half pounds of ground meat one pound of uh parnell's okay if you want bigger meatballs make them okay Put your seasoning in there the way that you wanted them to be, okay? And anything that I didn't put and you want, just add it, okay? Right now, we're going to take these right here, and since they're already made, I put, oh, when I mixed it up, I mixed it with some onions, I, the, the seasoning, and then I put some of these Prego, I mean, progressive garlic and uh, herb bread crumbs, okay? I didn't use any type of, I don't use any type of like eggs or anything to bind it. Those bread crumbs are gonna be perfect, okay? That's all you're gonna need, okay? And then um, I put a little bit of olive oil in there just to make it wet, okay? Then I made my, my balls just like this and I'm gonna plop them in the oven right now on 400 degrees. Let's cook them for like 20 minutes to see how that goes. Okay, so boom. In this particular pan right here is just some water that we're about to boil. That is for our noodles. We're only gonna cook our noodles for about eight or nine minutes is we only want our noodles at El al dente okay i have some thin spaghetti but feel free to use whatever kind of spaghetti that you want okay in here i've already ground i've already browned me some ground meat as well as so it's going to be that one and a half pound of ground meat plus the three-fourths of the parnell sausages is all mixed up in here i seasoned it with the exact same seasoning tony saturi um garlic powder onion powder a little bit of Lowry's and Italian seasoning okay we're gonna take this grease off of there drain the grease and then we're gonna come right back okay okay y'all so boom we are back we already drained our um remember I told you drain your, your ground meat okay put your drain your ground meat and put it over there to the side okay and just leave your leave your pan the way it is. We're gonna be putting a little bit of olive oil in there and we need to saute some veggies, okay? All right, so let's talk about it. I have one half of an onion, okay? I have one, I have three stalks of celery chopped up. That's just because I had it in my refrigerator. So if you guys don't have celery, it's not a necessity, but if you have the Trinity, you definitely need it. I have one half of a green bell pepper and then one half of a red bell pepper okay the other thing is when i did my meatballs i don't remember if i told you guys but i did put almost the whole half of the onion into those meatballs okay if you don't like onions like that in your meatballs you don't have to add them at all okay i just think i didn't i forgot to tell you that i added them you only need them if you are okay with the onions and then too really honestly if you don't like onions you're childish and it's probably not the channel for you okay because <laughs> you need onions and bell peppers that part that part you need you, you you need onions and bell peppers to go with your food okay come on now okay so boom so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna dump this in here and we're gonna just saute this up just a little bit i got my um fire on a medium put it between a medium and a high we're just gonna saute this down a little bit okay nothing major and then i'm gonna come right back as soon as we have it where we want it to be all right so just cook it for maybe like five minutes all right remember i have 20 minutes on my timer 
for my meatballs. They're already in the oven, getting ready. If you want to not do it the lazy way like me, you can actually brown all of your meatballs if that's what you want to do. I just am not going to do that. I really started recording this late, and so I'm definitely not going to uh, do that. But you can just throw them in your uh, throw them in your oven. Set it and forget it, okay? It's already 725, so we got about 12 minutes on that. And hopefully they'll be pretty much almost done by the time uh, everything is, is, is doing its thing. And we can just dump it on in there and be done with that. All right, so I'm, I'm going to saute these down just for a bit, and then I'm going to come back. All right, now, boom, this has been going for about three or four minutes. Okay, you just want to kind of get them a little translucent okay um i did go ahead and add my pasta into the water i got eight minutes on my to check on my eight minutes to check on my uh what am i trying to say my meatballs that are in there they're cooking and so i got eight minutes on there and since i had the eight minutes i just dropped my noodles because we're only going to cook the noodles to al dente we're going to cook them for eight minutes okay this is about this is some Italian seasoning. We're gonna just put about a tablespoon, a ta uh, excuse me, a teaspoon between a teaspoon and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Really, you could put a teaspoon right now because I'm going to end up putting some more seasoning in there in just a minute. But let's before we go even even go there, let's add some minced garlic. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do, since I like garlic, I'm probably gonna do like three tablespoons of the garlic, but you really probably only need about two. If you have, if you really don't like garlic, then really you can get away with one. But since we like garlic, y'all know, I'm gonna put me some extra in there, okay? So you do the garlic how you wanna do it. We're gonna stir that around just a little bit. Okay, let's make sure that our heat is still though on the medium, okay? So our heat is gonna be on the medium. We got that. We don't want that to burn. All right. Now while we're waiting on that, I got two cans of tomato sauce, one big can of diced tomatoes, and I'm gonna put that in there. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the two cans of the fire roasted. So two 14.5 ounces, one 28 ounce, and two of the garlic and basil. Okay, because that's the flavor profile that we're doing, y'all. Garlic and basil, uh, garlic, basil, Italian type of seasoning. Okay, so that's what we're going to have uh, in this. All right, so now I cut my oven, I'm sorry, I cut my fire down just a little bit just because I don't want my garlic to burn and while I'm opening up these fire roasted things. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump that in there. Dump both of the two cans in there. Make sure your fire, like I said, you turn it on back to the medium once you start dumping your tomatoes in there. I did cut it down because I didn't want my garlic to burn. But you're gonna dump your tomatoes in there. That that right there was one uh, garlic, one, let me see, what was it? Hold on, y'all, I'm sorry. It was diced tomatoes, fire roasted with garlic, and then one was without. Okay, if you prefer the garlic, then add it. It's no big deal. Put the garlic, do, do the garlic how you want to do it. Okay, then we're going to do one 28 uh, ounce, so one big thing of the diced tomatoes as well, just to give it some, some bite. You don't have to actually have these diced tomatoes, honestly. You really can use all, like uh, a Prego or, what, what do people like, a Prego? I like ragu. You can do ragu. You don't need a bunch of that. You don't need a bunch of that. I just like the flavor of the actual diced tomatoes. So let's just say, for instance, you don't have any diced tomatoes at all. Okay, you can all, you can use then if you don't have any diced tomatoes, then just use um, the ragu with the meat sauce or the prego with the meat sauce. You know, and then buy you one can of the chunky onion and garlic buy you one of those and then you should be good to go and, or if you don't have either one of those you can use straight uh tomato sauce 
Okay, y'all? So you use straight tomato sauce. And so don't feel no type of way. It's just however you like it, okay? Now for me, I like to use it all. I like to use everything. Okay, let me stir my, my uh, just stir my noodles. All right, so I like to use everything, y'all. So we that's why we put that in there like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one half of this Prego can That's the chunky one. But of course, you buy whatever kind you like. If you prefer only Prego, then just use only Prego. That's fine. If you prefer only Ragu, you can use Ragu. I usually only get, I usually get a meat sauce and then I get a chunky Ragu. But it doesn't matter. Prego, Ragu, whichever one you prefer is fine. We're going to be using a little bit of this. I'm going to put half of it in there for now. Actually, not even a full thing of half. Maybe like a little bit more. Put a little bit less than half of it in there, y'all. Um... And then we're gonna put some sugar in there too, because remember that is all that tomato sauce, okay? We don't wanna have all the tomato sauce. Let's just put us, that's like a half of a fourth of a cup to cut down on that um, tomato sauce, okay? I'm mean, sorry, to cut down on the acid for, from the tomato sauce, okay? Now we're gonna stir this up. And then I'm going to do, for right now, I'm going to do one can of the tomato sauce. Okay. You're going to put one can of the tomato sauce in there. Okay. And it's going to leave some in there. Refill that up with water. And then pour that in there. And you don't have to fill it all the way up, y'all. Just fill it up to, like, almost three-fourths of a cup and just make sure you get all your stuff out of there okay because I don't want my stuff to be too runny I like my spaghetti juicy but not you know it don't need to be runny I, I kind of like it thick but juicy I like a lot of juice all right now we're going to reserve that other stuff over there to the side because I don't know when I mean I don't know if I'm going to need it or not okay when I'm talking about the other stuff I'm talking about the ragu Right, so just in case when I start adding my meat and everything back up in there, I'm going to um, I'm gonna keep it to the side because if I need it, I'll, I'll use it. All right, let's put some seasoning in this sauce though too, okay? This is some onion powder. Let's put a tablespoon of everything that I'm putting, that I'm saying, okay? If you like something more, then put more than a tablespoon, but a tablespoon should be perfect for all for, for that you need. That's black pepper. Let's get some garlic powder. And yes, I put garlic in there too, minced the garlic, but I'm putting garlic powder too. Okay, so if any, like I said, if you if you have an issue with garlic, then don't put as much. But you need garlic, okay? Italian seasoning, we're gonna go ahead and we need like, put two, put like two tablespoons of the Italian seasoning out, y'all. Cause that's the main flavor. I'm gonna put like two of those in there, two tablespoons. That is my, um, noodles that should be ready. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of that in there, and then I'm gonna get some basil, and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of basil in there too. Okay, we're doing Italian, so if you have basil or, or you know if you have basil, Ita uh, Italian seasoning, and oregano stuff like that, that's the flavor profile you're going for. All right, so if you have that, you are looking at the right stuff, guys. I'm oregano right now, y'all. But anyway, let's put some Lowry's in here too. Some seasoned salt. Put like a tablespoon of that. And then like a teaspoon of the Tony's. Or if you prefer Tony's, then put a put a tablespoon of the Tony's and then put one teaspoon of the other. Whatever one you prefer, okay? We're gonna stir this up and I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then I'm gonna be back. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys the next step. Let's, I'll be back as soon as that comes up to a boil. So, y'all, look, these are my um, 
meatballs. I put them in there for 20 minutes. They have been cooling off and they are cool. I meant to show y'all those earlier. We're going to just dump them back in there, okay? So this is just straight oven action. Here is my sauce. It's boiling. We still got like a minute and 11 seconds. And then I will tell you guys what to do next. Oh, I found my oregano, y'all. So if you, get, if, you get, if you have the oregano, add one tablespoon of that as well, okay? Let it cook. I'm cooking it for 10 minutes. It's about 50, 50 seconds left. But cook it for about 10 minutes before you add anything else. Make sure you taste the sauce. And um, before you add your other things in there to make sure that it's where you want it to be. Okay? So y'all hear that? That is the timer. Okay? Like I said, we cooked that for just 10 minutes, y'all. We cooked that for 10 minutes. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our meat back in here in the meat sauce. Okay, this is all our ground meat and the and the um, the Parnell's breakfast sausage. I put one third of a thing of Parnell's in there and then one third of it is in my meatballs, all right? So we're gonna dump that back off in there. Okay, we're gonna stir it up. And remember I said y'all got that reserve juice over there, y'all, just in case you need it, okay? This may be plenty of juice. All right, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll need it or not, but just in case you'd rather have more, plenty, you know, more than you need, than less than you need, okay? So that's, that's how that's going to look, all right? And then we're going to dump, let me see, I'm not going to dump my meatballs in there yet. I said I was going to dump the meatballs in there, but I'm not. I'm not going to dump the meatballs in there yet. Let me grab my, my noodles. Okay, y'all remember we had the noodles, and we were trying to make them get to al dente. All right, so I only cooked them for like eight minutes, y'all. Okay, now I have them sitting over here to the side, and I'm just gonna incorporate the noodles in here right now. And you put as much noodles or as less noodles as you want. Um, you know, I can't really tell you how to do your noodles, but I will tell you that I cooked the whole pound. So it's 24 ounces, one pound, eight ounces. I cooked one pound or eight ounces of the noodles, but we probably won't use all of it. Okay, you got to put it in there, stir it in there, see where you are, and then go from there. Y'all, don't break your noodles. Just put your noodles in there and lay them around. You don't have to break your noodles, okay? No, no authentic spaghetti is broken. <laughs> Okay, if it don't fit, don't worry about it. Lay it in there, and when it's boiling, it'll fit. Just push, pull the noodles around the side, like make it go into a fan, until it all fits, okay? And trust and believe those noodles will get, you know, uh, flimsy and flexible, okay? So you don't have to worry about breaking your noodles. Do not break your noodles. I don't know where that came from. All right, so we're going to put that in there. The other thing is, too, if you're like I used to be and you didn't, you don't like your stuff together, you don't have to put your stuff together. Um, you could just make the meat sauce and then make your meat, your, your uh, noodles separately. And then, you know, let everybody get their own noodles. I actually used to make uh, my spaghetti like that just because I, w I like a lot of sauce. And so... Um, I, I I wanted to have less noodles and more sauce, or I wanted to be able to put my own sauce factor in there. So that's why I did that. So if, if you were like me and y'all don't do it, or if you're old school, like my mama used to do, she just put everything all up in there at one time, y'all. Put everything in there at one time. The only thing is, is don't overcook them noodles, y'all. That, that'd be my only plight with making it um, that way, because you need to cook your noodles less time because you're going to be cooking them more in here. Okay, so you don't want to overdo it. The other thing is, too, if you wanted to have some um, sausage in this, too, you also can have sausage in this, y'all. You got some sausage in this. Just cut it up, and when you are browning your meat, right after you finish browning your, your, your pan sausage and your ground meat, then... Um, I would just brown, you know, cut up, dice up my sausage that I want to use. And then I would brown that, you know, brown that up. And then set that to the side with my meat sauce. And then just pour everything back in here, y'all. I was going to do um, some sauces, but really on the cool, I forgot. 
but it's it's fine because I have plenty of meat in here. I'll have my um I got my my noodles and I got my um what is that meatballs on the side, y'all? So I feel like it's gonna be plenty. All right, let me put a little I have a little bit of more spaghetti. I said I wasn't gonna use the whole spaghetti. It's just a little left. I don't want it to be too thick, y'all. Okay, we're gonna cook this in there because I want that juice to get into those noodles. Okay, you see how it's not on the noodles yet? I need that juice to cook in there yet, okay? So we're gonna put everything on back up in here. I need to make my other salad too. All right, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna stir that all up. Make sure you kind of, you know, do what I'm doing. Go on around in there and stir it on up. All right, that should be plenty. I don't want to overdo it with the um, noodles. Okay, then we're going to go and we're going to put our um, meatballs in there. Don't, like, be careful when you're putting them in there. You don't want to, you know, cut them. You don't want, they're, they're, they're circles, so you don't want to like push them too much. I don't think they'll mess up, especially since in the oven, but I don't want them to turn mushy. I want them to actually be noodles. I want, my husband wants noodles. I mean, I'm sorry, I want them to actually be meatballs, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to overdo them, but you're going to just put them all in there. Stirring it up every so often. And I am going to put some more juice in there. I mean, some more, yeah, I'm going to put some more juice in there just for the sake of making sure that we have enough. All right, so that's all of them. We're going to just stir it in there because you want the noodles to get coated. You want the beef uh, meatballs that you just made to get coated. You want everything to get coated, but you don't want to break it up. Okay, so be careful. Remember, you already have ground meat in there. Okay, so there's no need to break up your noodles. All right, let's add a little bit more of this old-fashioned uh, meat sauce from Ragu. I'm just going to put it right on the top just because I want some redness. Okay, you also, if you don't have that, you could have used my other thing of, I could have used my other thing of, um, my other thing of tomato sauce. Remember, I only used one of my tomato sauces, but I don't need it. I'm going to put some more of the chunky on top, and we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes, y'all. Oh yeah, see how that's all saucy? I love that. I love that, y'all. I want some sauce. Where's the sauce? All right, y'all. So we're going to cook this for 10 minutes. I'm also going to put some, um, I got some cheese. Let's put some cheese in there too, y'all. This is just some sharp cheddar slash um, mild cheddar that I sliced up myself or, you know, whatever you call it shred it myself we're gonna just put a put like a handful and of course when they eat they can um they can add y'all on if they need more but we're just gonna put a little bit in there for now okay y'all and then we're gonna cook this we're gonna stir this okay and we're gonna come back to this in 10 minutes and let everything kind of cook down move your fire i had it everything on has been cooking on the medium y'all but since it's already up to a boil let's let's mix this up and then let's cook this for um let's cook it for 10 minutes y'all and just see where we are make sure you stir all the way to the bottom of it okay and pick that sauce up so that you can see what you need okay you don't want to wait the whole 10 minutes and then realize oh i do need more sauce you want to go and put it in there because if you add more sauce again you're going to need to cook it in there a little bit more all right so that's how we're going to do we're going to put that just like that Let's end it off with a little bit of, I think I got some parsley up here. Let's put some parsley on top just so we can have a little green effect. Put some parsley on top and then I'm going to cover this up and we're going to cook this for, um, let's cook it for about 10 minutes, okay? Um, cook it between the medium and the low. Guys, okay? We're going to cook it between the medium and the low and let's see where we are in 10 minutes. All right, y'all, so we are back. We are finally done with our pasta. Hold on one second. I was looking for me a spoon. I let it sit. It cooked. We cooked it for the last, I think I told y'all, like 10 minutes or whatever. Just make sure that it's, you know, was able for everything to get 
all incorporated. You see how that's all incorporated? It don't look like noodles separate from the spaghetti. That's what we want. Of course, when you let it sit up in here, the noodles will continue to um, soak up that juice, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plate things up really quick, and then I can show you what everything is looking like, okay? Um, as y'all can see, like I said, the only thing about this, when you mix it all together, it doesn't look as um, juicy as it really is. That juice is kind of down off in there. But don't you worry, when we get ready to do our thing, the juice will be there. Okay, the kids love the juice. All right. All right, so as soon as I do plate up, we will be ready to go. All right, now, this is the final product, y'all. I done put a little cheese on top of this, so that's the yellow that you're seeing there, but, and some um, pepper flakes for my husband, okay? So this is the final plate up, y'all, the meatballs and spaghetti. Just make sure we see that. Go to meatball right there, y'all, so y'all know it's real. <laughs> All right, we got him some garlic bread, and then, of course, some cucumber and tomato salad. All right, y'all, that is it, and that is all. Until next time, cooking with the Jacobs. Bye.